Hello, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Today is week two. <laughs> I have to get all this straight in my head. Uh, week two of the Movie Marquee Challenge that I'm doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so I think I know what I'm doing. Um, oh, for all of you that don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below with Heather's videos and my videos. Basically, every month for the for the whole year, uh, one of us, we're alternating months. Uh, we're picking a movie and we're putting up the poster uh, and we're... <laughs> we're making something with the colors in that poster. If you want to join along, you're more than welcome. You do not have to do our poster. You can do whatever poster you want from whatever movie you want. Uh, and we would love it if you would put your pictures in our Facebook pages. Groups. That thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. Okay, guys. So I got a little bit done. Because don't forget, I have to do two panels. <laughs> and I'm using a four millimeter hook i am insane i'm absolutely out of my freaking mind because i don't use four millimeter hooks as you know not often anyway <laughs> okay so i am using oh that's not it Whoop. where is it I... oh okay that one's like completely obliterated Hang on. Ugh. I am using soft and shiny yarn that you can get from Michaels. And the colors I'm using is denim jeans. And ginger peach. And... Uh, iced coffee, which, I don't know, <laughs> looks more like a latte color to me, but whatever. Well, I guess iced coffee, yeah. Well, um, and then this one is vintage indigo. I love this color. Oh, I'm so in I want to do another project with this color. And then I also added, which you guys didn't see before, is black. Okay, now. You tell me, does that look green to you? That totally looks green to me, but it's black. And the weird thing is, like, this is really bizarre. In light in your house, in the store, all that kind of stuff, it's green. It's, it's like, like that. And I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. You know what? I took it outside and it's black. <sighs> Not entirely sure if I should use it. Don't know. I'm humming and hawing over it because it totally looks green. It's got such a heavy green undertone. It's insane. So I'm a little confused as to what to do. But yeah, so because <clears throat> I went, I was going to take it back to Michael's. I had it in my car and I looked down. And I'm like, whoa, that's black. Wait a minute. And yeah, it's a total chameleon yarn. Like it's, I, I, I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So. Oh, I'm all tangled up now. So I thought. Uh, this is the next color that I'm going to be working on. I wasn't sure about the peach with the blues and the... I'm terrible at color coordination. But you know what? I think it's working itself out. I think it's going to be okay. All right. So here was the blue. Here was the next blue. And here is the peach, you guys. I think it's actually going to turn out. I was really shocked. 
Here, let me double it so you can get a better view of the colors. I think it's I think it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to be putting this one on top of this. I think it's going to be okay, guys. I'm I was really not worried. I was kind of worried. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Oh, urine fibers, you know, sunshine, you know. <laughs> so anyways, I think that this is going to be pretty good. Not the colors that I would have ever thought to put together, but you know what? I'm liking it. Okay, so this goes the length. Uh, hopefully I don't get my mic. The length of my hand all the way to my hands uh i'm not entirely sure how long it is but i did 20 40 60 81 20, 40 61 is that right i think i did about 100 and 160 foundationless double crochets i think i'll get back to you on that um so that's how it's gonna it's gonna be longer than i expected i think because which is fine i'm good with that because this is actually the length here okay um which you would think that this is the, this is the length but this this is the width <laughs> of how long it's going to be um so i gotta i have to make two panels and then i have to put it together i'm really hoping this works out because i've never made anything like this before so oops i'm pulling my stitches so yeah it's it's going to be interesting it's going to be very drapey but um, just so you can see what I did here, it's very basic, very basic. It's just one row of double crochet, one row of window stitches. Easy peasy. But let me tell you, OMG, if I, ev if I ever work with this yarn again, I am not using a four millimeter hook. It's very splitty. Yes, very splitty. And I, I would have been done this a lot quicker, but I, I thought that I was going to have to use a really thin yarn because this says, yeah, see, it says to make a four point uh, five point five millimeter hook. Use a five point five millimeter hook with this. I should have done that. Uh, but I also didn't want it to be so loosey-goosey that it just looks awful. I think the stitch definition with the four millimeter hook is perfect. But it's just, yeah, it's, I'm having a hard time with the splitting of the yarn. But that's okay. I am going to hunker down and muscle through it and get it done. Let's hope. <laughs> it p could possibly take me the whole month just to do this. <laughs> I'm shocked I got as much done as I did. I think I'm starting to get used to the hook. And, uh, and like, because uh, this is tiny. This is, this is amigurumi tiny. <sighs> but who knew? I didn't know. Right? But I knew that if I used a five... 0.5 millimeter hook the whole the gaps in the stitches was going to be atrocious and I was going to hate it and it was going to look sloppy so yeah there's that um so yeah go don't forget to go over to Heather's channel and check out what she's doing um I'm not entirely sure how much she's had gotten done. Um, but she's always really fast, right? Like, 
she's just lickety split with this stuff like and she's making a blanket <laughs> so um but yeah go over to her channel do all the things the like subscribe and all that and comment don't forget to comment uh post your pictures on her facebook page as well and yeah i can't wait to see what you guys do it's gonna be fun <laughs> I absolutely loved the last two months, pictures of the last two months projects. Uh, it, it's just such an inspiration um, to see what you guys are doing and how you do it and what yarns you use. And so, yeah. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to check back with us next week and see my, I should have this front panel done. I should be started on my next panel by then. So I'm working on two projects right now. Um, another one I'm doing with thinner yarn, you know, and uh, I'm using a bigger hook with that, though. So it's going way better. But yeah, I don't normally have two projects on my hook at one time. I like to get the one project I've got going done before I start another one, because then I get too confused and you know, menopause brain. So, but yeah, I'm doing, I figured I've got two projects with thinner yarn. And um, so I thought, okay, I might as well do them together because the insanity will stay in one place, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, I'll be showing that project on a different video. So yeah, okay. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye.